guys, Domimos here, and today we're going to be continuing uh, Agrarian Sky's Technically Simple series. And in this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to sit, uh, set up an, a simple AE system. It's not going to be too complicated, just a simple way to store some of your uh, your goods in like a big chest, really. And how to access them and craft using them. So I'll get some materials and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've got some basic, uh, basic bits of bobs that you're going to need to get yourself started with uh, ME. To start off, you're going to want an ME controller. As you can probably guess, this is like the control station. It tells you everything you've got uh, connected to it, how much power you've got, etc, etc. Next of all, you're going to be able to store your stuff. So we're going to need an ME drive. And an ME drive is no good if it has no memory. So to put memory in, you need to build these things. These storages. Now you've got the ones from Applied Energy Sticks. And you've got some from extra cells, which are a lot bigger. So we'll start off with the ones from Applied Energistics. You have a 1K, a 4K, 16K, and a 64K storage. Now with these, you can see 0 of 6, 000, uh, 65,000 bytes used, and 0 of 63 types used. They all have 63 up to 63 types. Now what that is, is you can hold 63 different items, and for the 1k you can store a thousand of them, four thousand, sixteen thousand, sixty-four thousand. 4,000, 64,000, 64,000. So the bytes is how many of the item you can use. So say the 16k storage could hold 16,384 cobblestone for example. Uh, or it could hold 63 different items, if that makes sense. Now for the extra sales ones, they are a lot bigger. You can see they start off at 250k. Well, the biggest you can get from Applied Logistics is 64, so it's already a lot bigger. Then you have a 4 million, a 1 million, swap them round, and a 16 million storage drive, which is insanely big. Uh, you'll probably never ever use that much, that much memory, ever. Okay, next of all you've got two options. You've got this access terminal, which I'll put there, and you've got this crafting terminal, which I'll, I'll just put there. Doesn't matter where you put them too much. Now with the access terminal, you have six rows of uh, inventory, should I say, that you can see. And you can access, it's like a big inventory, so if I put stuff in there I can pull stuff out. But the crafting terminal, it only has a three window uh, display, but also it has a crafting bench here, which is really useful. So it's up to you which one you want to use. The good thing about Applied Energistics is you can attach uh, everything together and it will just supply everything with power. You know, you can have cables coming out from here and it will do the same as if the cables coming out from here. Every, everything works. It's like everything everything you put together is one big multi-block sort of thing. It's pretty cool. So let's give this thing some power. You can see it booted up here, everything's lit up. All our storage is here. Let's give ourselves a load of random items. Uh, there you go. And let's dump it all in here. So you can see it's like one massive chest uh, in which you can craft as, and stuff using this crafting bench here, which is awesome. So I'll show you the drive now. You can see 4,000 bytes have been used. We've got some pretty big items in here. And 8 of 63 types have been used. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We've got 8 different items in here. So it's used 8. There you go. So it's pretty simple to understand, guys. Uh, from here, you can have uh, a diff you can have the crafting block, which I'll do in another tutorial. You can have uh, all sorts of different things. Now, the next thing I wanted to cover was the ac the wi wireless access. So let's get a wireless access point, some wireless boosters, and a wireless access terminal. I can just put this anywhere, it doesn't matter. I'll plop it up. Let's plop it down there for now. There you go, see it refreshes. I don't need you. Now what this means is you can get this wireless access terminal here and you can carry it around with you everywhere you go and if you right click with it oh, after linking it you link it by shoving it up there by the way. Okay, so just shift, shift click it into the uh, into the controller here and it'll, it'll be linked to your system so you can run let's just go over here for example 
And look, you can access your terminal. You can access your big computer storage uh, wirelessly with this. Now, it does use up power, so beware. See, I've used 1000, uh, 1K power already. Now, if we go so far, so we go over here, and we click, it'll say no signal. And you probably guessed you could use these wireless boosters to boost the signal. Uh, that's right. It can only hold up to 16. Okay, any more than 16 and it doesn't do anything. So now if we go back over here where we was before, boop, we can now access it. We can access it from quite a far away. Uh, not going to go too far. So this is a really, really basic, uh, easy to understand ME system to get you started. Some of the stuff is quite expensive to make, guys, so beware. Uh, beware with that. But it is so useful. Instead of having all these chests dotted around everywhere, you know, you know the feeling. You've got chests everywhere. You know what I mean? <laughs> well, now you can just dump. You can just dump them all in there. It makes it so much easier. Oh god, I for I forgot that it did that. Oh well. <laughs> we can dump this all in the AU system, and everything's good. There we go. Just, you just hold down spacebar and left click and it shoves everything in there. So useful. So useful. Boop, boop. Shove everything in there. Let's just, let's just yeah, that, that'll do. Boop. You see how much memory it's used up. It hasn't even used up one of their storage disks yet and it's not even the biggest. It's four bigger. And we've got a bunch of stuff in there already. So I think that is it for this episode, guys. I do hope you enjoyed. I've taught you how to make a basic, uh, like a massive chest, really, like a deep storage unit. I've taught you how to, well, you've got two different options for the terminals. It doesn't really matter which one you use. And um, you can have multiple if you, if you really want. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you can also have, if we can... There we go. Oops. Say if you've got one in the bottom floor of your house and you want one in the top floor of your house, no problem. Just get a wire, ah, attach it however you want, and boom, you can access it from up there as well. You can have these. These you can have these anywhere. Look, oops. Ah, no. Ah. Look, you can have one there. You can have one there. You can even have one there. You know, you know what I mean? You can have these things absolutely anywhere. Do note that the more you have, the more energy it will use. Okay, so that's 7.1. It's now using 9 uh, megajoules a tick. So you need to you know, change it to... Mm, there we go. So the more we put on, the more it will use. So just be aware of that, guys. Of course, uh, I've just used one of these massive cells, these resonant energy cells. So it's got n it's got no problem with keeping up with it. But you might not have a resonant ender cell to to spawn in at your will. <laughs> okay, guys. So that's it for this episode. I do hope you enjoyed. If you'd like to see any other uh, tutorials for agrarian skies, do leave them in the comment section. Like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe to see more in the future. Apart from that, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Bye bye.